nothing more than a pebble on the mountaintop or a grain of sand on the beach. Yet here we stand and breathe. A garden full of wonderment sits before us daily as we pass it by and search out what? Tangible remnants of wealth. What do we gain? Or is it just a figment of someone else's malady or tragedy? Fantasy or misplaced joke? Don't know. At least I don't know much at this point. Other than the obvious, life is much shorter than we imagine. Of course, all you really need to do is observe the news. Life should extend into the days of gray hairs and failing eyesight. But not ending before the hairs of puberty get grown or are never realized at all. So playing your cards can be a very tricky game of chance. Romance tugs at the heart, tries to persuade you to move in ways that feel good, but don't speak of consequences. The alternative is to think it out and risk the possibility of missing out on one of those rare treasures that may never cross your path ever again. Forever is a word of pain, but it's also one of reality. It poses an invisible question to us all. The question is in tongues. The problem is it's unsolvable and difficult to imagine. I breathe in the air as if it's my last, because it could be. They say tomorrow is not promised. Ergo, it's a gift. It's a box that opens, all on its own. But the trick, you have to remove the contents all by yourself. Should be simple, but alas, most folk never see the box, never notice the ornate wrapping, and never look inside. They have better things to do, I guess. But for some of us, the treasure inside, our daily box, is different each day. It's not filled with good, bad, or ugly. No, my friend. That is for you to decide, and keep in mind, everything is subjective. You're neither right or wrong. The gift will either work for you or against you. Your choice, your perspective, your elective. So, each day is an adventure. Or at least it should be. Enjoy the moment. If things go south, move your energy differently. Take in a breath and be thankful you can. <laughs>